Welcome and joining me to Hog Legacy. Please leave a like, welcome, and subscribe. Not even realize that was a lot there. Okay. Let's see. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to at Hogwarts School. Ah, this is just that page. I can read it if you want to. It's just the beginning of the game. I'm honestly just going to choose a preset. I don't get too intricate into character customization. Although, what I will do is go to normal. Mm. There. Using restricted words, right? Okay. There. That works. Oh gosh. I think there's a big cutscene, so we'll go ahead and watch this. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Interesting cutscene. We'll have to see how that works out into the story. I haven't played this in a long time, so I don't remember much of the story myself. I think the cutscene's still going too. But it's mostly just a bunch of musical theatrics, I guess you would say. I don't remember most of this cutscene, so. I guess we're both experiencing it together, because it's been a while for me. Alright, they're coming back in now, so we'll see what is coming up next. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. 
Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Nice save. All right, coming up to the forest. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yeah, we'll be taking this a lot in the game. Oh, gonna have to make these and everything just to keep ourselves stocked up. I do remember that much. What happened? Poor oh, George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Isn't that like that trophy they grab in number four movie or whatever? I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Here, run. I'm guessing that's just because it's so early on we're trying to see theatrics. Hmm. How Interesting far place though. Did he take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. It's really we're nice to see the these Scottish graphics. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Don't look very faded to me. You can see the path right there. Oh, Mind hey, your there step. we go. Now we're running. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Wow, it really is nice though. Ancient magic? Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. 
Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Hmm. Long winding so, path. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh uh, yeah, this big wall looking thing. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Really Let's nice see one. some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. So just right click to attack. Excellent! Use the camera, actively target. Okay. Hmm. Nothing from the that pots, eh? It's a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. We're close now, it's just ahead. Yeah, the problem is there's no bridge there, mate. Steady yourself! Reparo! Oh, well now there is. Something on the wall here. Definitely. It's that statue of. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That book led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Out of place? What are you talking about, mate? <laughs> the only thing we got out of place is us. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Yeah, exactly. That's why you, Why do you think I say it? The only thing out of place is us. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. What's back here, then? All kinds of stuff that around. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Yeah, what's back here, mate? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Wake the goblin. Got or goblin. Heart. Where are we? Oh lord. I don't believe it. Okay. Hello? Took us somewhere then. <clears throat> it 
can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. Number 12? The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Well, I wasn't thinking about getting too far, mate. Not like I can. I'm kind of stuck. You. Uh, keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> So we're going Hundreds down a roller coaster. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Yes. Kind of sounds like our society, eh? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Jeez. We've quite a distance to go. Glad to see you. That was quite a journey just to get vault to a vault. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Now he looked like he had suspicious armband on. Just saying. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that God was wearing was glowing. Oh, like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I bet. Shoot, this is far way down. Here we are. I wouldn't even enjoy traveling this far down. At least I know my stuff was safe. Jeez. When was the last time this vault was accessed? Talk about security. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for Who would want to try to even make a heist through this? In that time, no one has visited Not through normal 12. means, that's for Until dang sure. Alright. What's in the vault? Thank you for your If help. only it just start us out the game, Rich. <laughs> of course not. Oh, I actually get to walk in. Okay. So hold shift to run. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. What? Best of luck. Professor? What kind of creepy shy does that make? Unexpected. 
Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes. Who just a locks you in a vault? Charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Ah, crap. Thankfully, that's easier with a mouse than it is to do with a uh, controller. Didn't even think Rebellion. about that. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Revelio. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Why are you the only one with a light, mate? This is some sort of test. Revelio. But to what end, I can't say. Rude. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of grievance. I'd imagine not. Yeah, stay close to you. You're walking. Go, mate. What are we doing here? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. Dark and creepy. But on the floor. Nothing but pillars everywhere. I wouldn't want to be in this room. Alright, what the Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you alright? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, mm. when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Well, thank you. Be handy. Thankfully, those ain't too hard at all. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, of course. What's going on here, mate? Y'all yeah, just gonna gang us up on Why do you get all that? Oh, hurry up with it. One more. Aha. There we go. Stay close. Well, that wasn't hard. I have gloves. What do you want? Rebellion. Lumos. Well, where'd you Professor. go? Professor. The hell? Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. That was uncalled for. To go? I'll take that chest though. What's happening? Any the more chests? Magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Nope. Rude. Oh wait, there is. Hey. Ah, that's where they're leading me. 
that glow again. First, I want the chest stuff. Oh, great. What now? Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Of course. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Alright, can I just start fighting right from the get go then? Oh, I can. Alright. Not bad. One hit. Watch too hard. Wow, I can't believe I actually perfectly did that one. Nice. Oh, this again, really? Ugh, I hate dark tunnels and corridors. Yeah, I knew that already. Press shift to spin. Let's go. What are we looking at here? That just looks like a big old porky. Of course it is. Big old gate. Where's the professor? The heck? He just disappeared all of a sudden? Oh lord. I thought there was actually going to be a fight here, but it looks like cutscene instead. floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Whose memories though? Good question. Follow my lead. too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. Hmm. We've done all that we can. Trying to leave a legacy. Sounds like. That's what you're seeing. The glow. 
that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Mm. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Ranrock. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Mm. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Mm. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Absolutely right, we do. There we go. Now we're at Hogwarts. Well, that's definitely a beautiful sight right there. Very pretty game, gotta say. Lots of theatrics, lots of cutscenes. This one will be a great one for the series. Definitely is nice to get things going down here. A 
At least we're now in Hogwarts and we ain't got to oh, deal good. with we the dappling the about. Ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Mm. As ready as we can be, I guess. Phineas Nigellus Black. Mm. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. This is definitely going to be a fun game. It's going to take a while to beat. That's for sure. Professor Weasley! I think we're going with Gryffindor, though. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Out of all the houses, ah, yeah. I think yeah. we're going Gryffindor. It's a bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead, and your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Nah, not again. I already did a Hufflepuff play. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. I'd definitely do that. Better be Gryffindor! Righty then, we are done with the sorting. Not bad at all. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. <laughs> Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Wow, rude. Be nice Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. 
Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. Mm -mm -mm. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Nice. First day sorted. Now we can get up and start to see what we can do. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Yeah, we'll head to the common room. Protego! Oh, we got Protego. Anything around here, though? What's there in the room? Nothing. Just a regular Gryffindor common room. Alright. It's upstairs. Now, which way is the common room? Wow, it really does look like the movie, don't it? Got all the banners up. Chandeliers. Ooh, is that a snitch? Golden snitch right there. Nice. What's up here? Oh, that's just... Back where we were? No. What the? Very confusing. Alright, so there's three different levels to bedrooms. Okay. Interesting enough. How the heck do we get out into the common room? Oh, okay. What's in here? Ah, level one lock. Must be different starting Hogwarts in the fifth. What? We can't unlock the waypoint yet. So we can teleport back and forth? We can't go up there. Rude. What? Rude. I guess it's Lady Storm. Oh well. I don't think Professor Couch is a visitor. Still not working. Oh gosh. Gotta introduce ourselves to Crescenda. Let's try that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? Well, I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry. We'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, that's just how you get anything in this world, isn't it? Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Trying to get ahead of the game, eh? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. 
And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> I'd imagine not. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Right, we met Cressida. I think we're going to introduce ourselves to Garrett and Nelly on tomorrow's episode sorry guys but we stretched this one a bit long here hope you all are enjoying your day and with that i bid you adieu